Oh my God. Genuinely cannot believe I've just ridden down that track on this bike. Look, stay tuned and watch this because you're going to want to see how I got on. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. So basically being GMBN's resident XC Whippet, I often get these kind of crazy challenges thrown at me. And you know what, I don't mind them. They're good fun. They're a good crack getting out there on the bike, but some of them are more crazy than others. And riding a triple black diamond on this bike, well, that is way up there. Now, for those of you who don't know what a triple black diamond is, it is basically the hardest grade mountain bike trail you can do out there. So there are things like drops that you have to do, jumps you've got to do, it's really steep sections, the ground can be loose and rough, and it's often a combination of all of these things combined on one track. And that track that we're going to be tackling, well, it's this. Dovey's slab track is synonymous as being one of the hardest tracks at the bike park. At about 800 meters long and dropping around 120 meters, it's not the longest trail, but it is one of the wildest, with features like big rock rolls, loose ground, tight turns, and crazy jumps and drops. This thing is extreme. There's no doubt in my mind it is definitely triple black diamond worthy. Will I get down it? And more importantly, will the XC bike survive it? Well, only time will tell. XC bikes are getting gnarlier and gnarlier, but so are the trails. So for this track, this is my race XC bike weapon of choice. Now you might have just recently seen it because I did the West Highland Way on it. I'm just shy of 100 miles across Scotland. Now it's a pretty burly XC bike, so I feel like it's up to the task, but we're still talking XC race case and tires. They're very low profile, so there's not a ton of tread. Saddles really high up, long stems, slammed at the front. It's 120 mil front and back, so it's kind of in keeping with the modern day crop of cross country bikes, but do you know what? I'm still a bit nervous. It's still got things like a lockout lever on the front so you can lock the suspension out. That ain't gonna be happening on this track, I can tell you that. Tiny brakes on it, 160, 180 mil rotors, so the brake and power's not there the same. One thing you might have noticed that isn't particularly XC on it is these big old Crank Brothers pedals. Well, they're on there because I forgot my XC pedals, plain and simple, but do you know what? It's not the end of the world. 12 speed, 34 tooth chain ring, double bottle cage, so I can stop for a little drink on the way down. Why not? Yikes, let's go drop in. Oh, we're gonna die today. All right, come with me. Here's the first obstacle that we have to do on the slab track. So, ooh, it's this drop. Watch this. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. It's a proper drop on a proper XC bike. You can ride around it, but that's, I'm not going to call it cheating, but to do the track, we've got to do this drop. So let's do it. It's the first one. I think we've got this. Oh! Woo! I'm invincible! Ha <laughs> ha! Nailed it! Mm, okay, this bit's a bit sketchy. So we've got quite a steep roll, but you know, XC bikes are known for not being the easiest to get their weight back on. And then, because it's steep, I've got to drop off of this, but straight into like this double drop roll thing here. Let's have a crack, innit? Fun! Big fun. Cheers, GMBN. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I just physically couldn't slow down. <laughs> well, we did the hard part. Let's have another go. Oh my Lord. That doesn't bode well for later on down the track, does it? <laughs> Let's try that again. I think that's more stupid going up to try again, isn't it? Oh, see ya! Yes! Feature number two ticked off. This says caution drop. Oh, 
It's relentless. It's like non-stop feature after feature. That's what makes it triple, I guess. <laughs> Roosting. It's, I'm ticking off features one by one. But this is the gnarliest, I think. So yeah, this one's, this one's scary. Well, this is an insanely steep section of the trail. And it should look something like this look when I rode it on an enduro bike. But the problem with this whole section is once you are in, you're in. There is, there's like a point of no return and it is here. Because once you drop onto this slab, or well, you're on it, then you drop off the end of the slab and then it's loose and really steep with a tight right hander, hence all the catch netting at the bottom. And I'm gonna bow out of this one. I think this one is definitely beyond the limits of the cross country bike, both on terms of grip because I'll never slow down in time and braking for that reason as well. And my kahunas just aren't big enough to be contained by that netting. <laughs> no, I think, I think you've got to know the limitations of your bike and we are on them just doing these jumps and drops at the Mo. But that, that, wait to, you have to speed, wait to, wait there. You have to speed this up a sec whilst I sh shimmy on down. That's the bottom of a slab, not the slab on slab track. Then it's a drop. Wait there. It's about halfway. Keep following me if you can, Leo. This is how steep it is. And at this point here, it then turns into a big shaley right-hander. Yeah, no thanks. I think we'll skip this bit. <sighs> oh, bugger. Cheers then. Do you want to just ride that down for me? Do you mind just do you mind just hopping on that cameraman and riding it down? Got my helmet. <laughs> Good excuse. Uh, yep, I don't think we're gonna go that way. I think we're gonna go this way, look. That's pretty wild. Maybe we could ride the second half. Should we have a look at riding the second half of it at least? What's your plan, Rich? Well, it's actually really hard to walk down as well, so I think I might just try and hop on from here, but it's quite steep. Watch this. Oh, 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 this is disgusting. This is horrible. Okay. Oh, see you on the other side. Oh. Hey! <laughs> we are at the bottom of this next section. This is the technical part of uh, triple black diamonds, linking up all these mental features. So we got a drop there, which is not huge. I think it's doable. Do you need a hand up, Leo? Come here, cameraman Leo. There we go. But this is the run-in. So it's down these slabs, which are dusty and slippery, bangs into this 90 degree corner. We'll come down here. I'm never gonna be able to turn on this slab because that's just not gonna happen on the XE bike. So I'm gonna try and hang it as far right as I can to then lean it in to drop off of that but look at the landing pad off of that little drop is not very big either. Good times, good times. Oh! 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 Whoa! Oh my God. Always look before you leap again. I mean, that is a similar section to that previous one. I, I walked, I'll be honest. But the difference is this is like an absolute 90 at the end. There's no like run out other than getting catapulted into the ferns. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to skip this one. I'd have much preferred this on my enduro bike again. Have a look how I can actually do it. Yeah, see, that was way better, wasn't it? I don't know how to get down here. It's so flipping steep. We'll go like that, okay. Look, here's how to get an idea of how steep it is. So that's that first bit. And I think, ooh! Gee, oh bugger, you nearly got away from me there. That's like, to give you an idea, that's how steep that is. But it's here is where it would kick off. And like, look at these massive steps. That's not XE bike fun. That's where it would all go Pete Tong. So we'll go this way. Oh, okay, I don't know where to go now. I like that one, I like that, I like that, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, those steps there. 
that's got to be like 10 foot tall at least. And then this is it. And then you would come into here at warp factor 1 billion and skid into here. No, you're right. I'd be, sh I'd be shot off over there. I'd come into here at warp factor a billion, not slow down, fly off this berm, and you'd pick me up from the slab down there. Can I roll that? I think we can roll that. I'm going to roll that. Watch this. Okay. Not to be defeated by too much of the track. I say I can roll that. Oh! Oh no! Oh, that was tighter than as I, I was expecting. That was a bit tighter than I was expecting that second one. <laughs> it's all good now. Dal? Oh. This is what the slab track is named after then. This 60 foot long slab, roughly the middle of the track, and it's a whopper. Not the hardest feature on the track, certainly not for a triple black diamond. However, this slate goes hellish slippery when wet. Luckily, it's fairly dry. It's a bit wet coming in, but it's actually not too steep or not too bad to ride. The run out has got a few of these big gullies in it, but which I think we're going to be pretty okay to avoid. And there's a bit of a drop out the end, but it's a pretty cool feature. You don't see this in the UK very often. Oh, 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 oh my Lord. Oh, it's sketchy. I don't like it. Oh. 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 Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. I couldn't slow down. So when I've done this on my enduro bike, you'd come down riders left more. And what you do is you actually would like gap over the gully and just slide the back end into the bank to bang it in and then give you a dead straight line off that drop. But you can't, you definitely can't do that on the XC bike. So I find myself more straight lining it, but I'm making more of a turn for that drop. But I think we should still be okay. It's pretty wild. All right, we're gonna go off the drop. Oi, a bugger. All right, over that gully. Get on, sir. Nice. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no triple black diamond tough enough for the obeyer. God. All right, that was unreal. Riding a triple thrice the black diamond downhill track here at Dovey Bike Park on an XC bike. Do you know what? I'm happy to admit defeat on a few sections because they are insane. And I should just say that these kind of tracks are made for very advanced riders, very good riders that have got great technical skills, ability to jump and drop and things like that. So I definitely wouldn't recommend doing one on an XC bike because it's a wild ride. But I've had a great time making this one. If you want to see any more XC content, downhill tracks, XC tracks, challenges, you name it, let me know in the comments down below. As always, why not give us a little thumbs up and a subscribe because you know it helps the channel, it helps us out. But I'm out of here. I need to go and uh, I need to go and cool down. I need to go and ride some mellow blue runs or something like that. So for me, for now, I'm out of here. Cheers, everyone.